A simple x-ray tube consists of the following. A tightly closed housing made of leaded glass, usually Pyrex. Negative terminal or a cathode of tungsten filament wire surrounded by what we call a molybdenum cup and a positively charged copper anode with a central area made of tungsten. Now let's look at the tungsten filament. The tungsten filament of a cathode serves as a source of electrons when heated. Now these electrons when they're heated they set in motion by the application of what we call extremely high voltage or electrical potential difference between the cathode and the anode. Now, the central area of the anode is called the focal spot. Now, at the focal spot, uh, usually about 1% of that energy is generated, is changed into the x-rays with a remainder that is dissipated as heat production or infrared radiation in the outer portions of the anode. The anode serves as a means of suddenly stopping or decelerating the electrons. Tungsten filaments are used because they have very high melting points and or destroyed.